Figured I'd look into a couple of things on the Kawasaki T2 and T4 wet clutch. And what I found is when I tore them apart, um, we was going to do slugs, but as you can see, this is the Yamaha clutch. And it has a hole for the slugs. And then this is the Kawasaki, which does not. I'll show you another thing too here. Get this bushing out of here. All right. These are pretty much identical. I mean, when you hold them there, they are pretty much identical. This is Kawasaki, this is Yamaha. All right. <clears throat> To me, everything needs to work smooth. So, here's the Yamaha shoe without the spring on it. And this is how it works without the spring, free. This is the Kawasaki clutch, all right? And this is shoe without a spring on it. What I have to do is I have to push it pretty hard to get it to shut. And then the same way with opening. Then it's all, it, there's no free movement um, it's either hard to get closed or when it comes open it opens all at once and then here's the Yamaha just as free as can be so what I seen is these bushings the Yamaha don't have and I guess they was thinking that this would quieten it down some um, but they definitely need to be made a little smaller but you take that off, and then you have a shoe here that works like Yamaha. Put the spring on it. <clears throat> I think this would be a big improvement to the Terex wet clutch, guys. If this thing can't come back as easy, the springs get weak, it's always working against these rubbers right here, these bushings. Um, even with one spring on it, you can... Uh, these are the ones that don't have it. Works real smooth. Just works real easy. Here's the two with bushings. Still yet, just... I mean, that's pretty... Pretty big difference on how it works. So I think this here has a lot weaker spring than the Yamaha. Um, the Yamaha shoes weigh 229.9 grams. The Cali shoes weigh 227.9 grams. Two grams different. Um, but I think you Terex guys should maybe pull this, uh, pull your wet clutch apart, take these bushings out, and uh, try it like that. And I'll be working with uh, KMS to get these uh, shoes weighted. We'll be sending them to him, getting him to fix that up for us and uh, we'll have those here for long to test but um, you guys check out that clutch deal and uh, see what you can do with that and see what you think but um, if I was riding one that would be the first thing I'd do I'd want my wet clutch shoe working in and out like it needs to be guaranteed this right here will last thousands of miles longer than uh, this right here, um, the one with the bushing on there. I put one on here with the bushing just to sing the shoe. And there it is. You have to pretty shove it pretty hard and then pull it off. Shove it in, and pull it off. But this is the perfect. That's how it should be. Show you something else on these uh, Yamaha and Kawasaki. Look at these pieces. They are identical. I mean, it's exactly the same piece, them two. These two pieces are exactly the same. And you can lay them right on top of each other. They are identical. So is the back plate. All the holes. Um, this plate will fit on the other one. And... Uh, they are pretty much the same exact clutch except for them rubber bushings and the springs. 
the springs are a lot weaker. I think once these uh, bushings are taken out, I think there'll be a lot smoother engagement and disengagement. I think they'll notice a difference when you're coming to a stop and uh, changing gears. Should be an improvement on changing the gears too. Didn't have much Tarek stuff on the forum and uh, check out hotrodforums.net and uh, we'll start working on a bunch of stuff for you guys. Thanks.